pray two prayer points faith and family because this is what the conference is about our relationship with God and our relationship with the entrusted human beings that God has given us pray for the men because when you pray for the men they are able to take their role in the church they're able to take their role in the homes we're sick and tired of seeing our men becoming the opposite so that is why we're here to really pray and intercede for all the men in this church and all the Christian men all over the world we really need to intercede child of God amen so let's start off with faith we are gonna pray that God says that we should love him with all our heart mind body and soul the Bible says that David was a man after God's heart why is it that for us as men we cannot worship God emotionally look at David a mighty man of valor he was even stronger than Saul but he was very emotional the Psalms have blessed my heart David who expresses his emotional life, his struggles to God, a man who worshiped God from the depth of his heart. So we are going to pray that God will give us a faith like David. A faith like David for God to say, you are indeed a man after my heart. Child of God, I don't know about you, but let's pray on this, that God, as we are standing here, every man in this church, every Christian man, wherever they are, all the men all the boys potential kingdom men of valor that god will capture our hearts because when god captures our hearts it will capture our lives lord we are here right now even the father we bring our hearts before you i bring all the hearts of the men in this church i bring all the hearts of the men in the world i bring all the hearts of the men oh god in the kingdom of god god will bring our hearts we bring our hearts because you said david was a man after your heart you will select leaders based on your heart you will select head of state based on your heart you will select men to rule based on your heart God let our heart be full of compassion let our heart be full of humility let our heart be full of compassion oh God to feel for others to feel for our family to feel for our community to feel for our church oh God so that God we can move oh God we want to be like Jesus he was moved based on compassion he was able to heal based on compassion he was able to cast out demons based on compassion oh God give us a compassionate heart Nehemiah said this is what God has put in my heart to do for the children of Israel to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem to restore hope to the Jew oh God oh God put something in our heart put something in our heart put something in our heart every man that is in this church every man in this world oh God we are tired of being feminized we are tired of being homosexual oh God we are tired of being transgender oh God we want to be men of valor oh God we take back our dominion we take back our throne oh God we take back our dominion oh God Almighty, you raises up judges you raises up judges you raises men like Gideon oh God you raises men like Samuel oh God oh 80% of the servants of God they were men oh God we shall arise and take our dominion we shall arise and take over we shall arise and take back our homes we shall arise and take back our church we shall arise oh God we will worship you heavenly father we will not hide our emotion we will not hide our feelings we will express our tears to you we will express our cries to you. We will come like David, oh God. Where cometh my help? My help comes from you, oh God Almighty. Lord, we are here, oh God. We humble ourselves before you. Every man in this church, humble yourself before God. Cry out to God. Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Abba, Father, help us. Abba, Father, help me. Abba, Father, help me. Help me to be 
be a man like Jesus. Come and see the man who told me everything. Come and see the man. Son of David, have mercy. Son of David, have mercy. Oh God, mold us. Mold me, Papa. Mold every man in this church. Mold our hearts, oh God. Lord, our first priority is our faith in you. Our first human priority, our faith in you. Oh God, oh God, let our hearts be for you. Let our hearts be for you. Let our hearts be for you. Just as you concluded, just as you attested who David is, a man after your heart. Hey, Barabo Sharabaraba. The definition of manhood is a man after God's heart. That is the definition of manhood. Oh, Marabaraba, Le Barabaraba. Every man in this church, every man in this church, every man in Christianity, every man in the world, every boy that is becoming a man. Oh, they Rabaraba. Enough is enough, oh God. Enough is enough, Papa. Enough is enough, Papa. Oh, Barabaraba. We are coming back. We are here to appear before you as you have commanded in the book of Exodus three times a year all the males shall appear before you Papa we are here 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 oh God I will cry to all the men 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 Lord we are here to appear we are here to appear we are here to appear with our vulnerabilities we are here to appear with our broken hearts we are here to appear with our failures we are here to appear with our depression we are here to appear with our addiction we are here to appear with our sorrow we are here to appear, Papa. Oh, we are here to appear. We are here to appear, Papa. I humble myself before you, Papa. We humble ourselves before you, Papa. We are here to appear. We have come as we are. And we will not remain the same, Papa. Come and see the man who told me everything that I've done. Come and see the man. Jesus, the man. Son of David, have mercy on us. Son of David, have mercy upon us. Oh, son of man, that is your name. Son of man, that is your name. Son of man, that is your name. You know exactly how to be a man you know exactly how to be a man son of man help us son of man help us son of man transform us son of man teach us son of the living god son of our heavenly father teach us how to be fathers how to be fathers how to be fathers how to be husbands how to be professionals how to be ministers son of man teach us son of man teach us oh show us your way train us oh god train us oh god train us oh god lord train us child of god we have prayed based on this point of our first priority as a kingdom man of valor a kingdom man of valor is not based on your physical strength it's not based on your intellect God never said to Samson, you are a man after my heart. Samson was the strongest man in the Bible. God never said to, to Solomon, you are a man after my heart. Solomon was the wisest man in the Bible. God said to David, you are a man after my heart. Do you know the reason is? David was a worshiper. He worshiped in spirit and in truth. Oh, David was a worshiper. That is what makes a kingdom man of valor. David was also a responsible man for his family. He was a king leading a nation. He was a father with so many children. The reason why we see Solomon he is today is as a result of David. Child of God, you don't know how important your family is. Your family is your legacy. Your family is your legacy. It is not what we give our children that matters the most. It's what we put in them. What do you put in your child? What do you put in your wife? Do you put the values of God in them? Do you put, oh, Makayada? Do you put the vision of God in them? We are going to pray for our family. We are coming back to our family. We are coming back. Jesus commanded that, husband, love your wife as the church. child of God 
Oh God. We live in a broken world where this transgender, they're bringing our children to witness something called the drag show. I know some of you don't keep up with the news, but the media, the government, and the educational system, they are changing society. They're changing our culture. And here we are as a church. Who is supposed to defend the woman? Transgender men that pretend to be women. Her taking the place of women. Entering the washroom of women. Men supposed to be men are becoming women. Dancing nakedly in front of our children. And then who is defending the woman and the children? Ah, child of God. If you don't see the fall of this world, see it now. We call ourselves Christians. But why are we afraid? What makes us Christian is not spending time in church. It's when we go out there in the workforce, challenge their worldview. So we are going to pray for the family, child of God. This is my last prayer point. Pray for your family. Pray for them. Lord, we come before you. I commit every father, every husband in this place. Some of us, we grew up without a father. So we don't know what a father is. We don't know what a husband is. We don't know what it is. We don't even know what a good husband is. We don't know what a good father is. But God, that is not an excuse when we get married to become a good husband and a good father. Because Jesus, you are a good husband to the church. And God Almighty, you are the good father to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So you know how to be a good husband. You know how to be a good father. We might not have human fathers. Oh, but we know Abba. When we cry out to you, Abba, teach us, father us. So child of God, pray that God father me. God father me so I can father my family. Father me so I can father my children. Jesus husband me so I can husband my wife. Oh Lord Almighty, teach us. Lord, teach us. Lord, teach us. Some of us, we have no clue, oh God. We have been given the instruction, oh God, to provide, to protect, oh God. Lord, we want to come back and perform our duties. We want to come back and perform our responsibilities. We want to come back, Papa. Teach me, Papa. Teach every man in this church, oh God. Teach us, oh God, how to father our children. Teach us, oh God, how to husband our wives. Lord, families are broken. You are the restorer. Restore every broken home. Restore every broken home. Every divorce. Every separation. You are not the God of division. You are the God of peace. You are the God of unity. You delight in unity, oh God. Any family that is broken, you said to Cornelius, salvation has come to your household. You extended salvation to his entire family. Because of one righteous man named Noah, his entire family was saved. Man of God, as a father, because of you, your entire family can be saved. Oh, God is the God of families. God is the God of families. Even the disciples, all of them were brothers. They were brothers. They were from the same family. We serve a God who is the God of family. God said to Abraham, Can I hide what I'm about to do? Because Abraham had a family member. Man of God, father, husband, because of you, God will spare your home. Because of you, God will preserve your family. You don't know your authority. You don't know your worth. You don't know your power. These are all in the Bible. Because when fathers stand up and intercede on behalf of their family, God listened. They took their spiritual authority. So Lord, we take back our spiritual authority in our homes. Every spirit of Jezebel that might want to stand against our authority, we render you powerless in the name of Jesus. We refuse, oh God, to carry any Ahab spirit. We refuse to be any Ahab, oh God. We carry the anointing of Jehu. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.